All right, big daddies, 8 April 2024. And what are we looking at? Well, Nice Hash has had this clock out for a long time, but uh, most people don't know about it. It is the Bitcoin, the king, digital gold, the only thing you should be worried about having in your wallet, your portfolio, either through an ETF or buying it outright. Uh, the Bitcoin having countdown, not the having, having countdown. Uh, 10 days, zero hours, 36 minutos left. The having date ETA is on 18 April, 2024. Ooh, they even have a 2100 UTC time on it. Woo, they are cool. Love it. Yeah, so nice. I just had this clock out there. There's a reason for this. Just prepare. It's going to come a day where being able to own one Bitcoin is next to impossible. Why? Why do I say that, Crypto Gem? The cost of one Bitcoin. That's why. Uh, yeah. So take that advice or that information. Do with it what you will. And we can look at right now where we are at. Hold on, big daddies. Let's go over here. Ah, oh, let's hold on. Let's get some organization here for once on this stupid YouTube channel that provides useless information just for fun. So what the heck is a Bitcoin block having event? I think we're going to read together because that's all most YouTubers do is they read articles because I can't do any original thought. I just make comments on what I read other people write, right? <laughs> that's the name of the game on YouTube, folks. Anyway. Block having events happen every four years or 210,000 blocks on Bitcoin blockchain. Okay. Bitcoin's initial block reward was 50 BTC. This is to the miners, guys. The current block reward is 6.25 BTCs. The next block reward will be 3.125 BTCs. The, uh, this lowers the rate at which Bitcoins are generated. The having, not having, the having is periodical and is programmed into the Bitcoin's code. Gotta love it. So you're sitting home, watching Netflix, eating your bonbons, drinking Bud Light, which you shouldn't be drinking. And uh, you may be asking yourself, why was this done? What is a having? I can't even say it. It's having. Oh, whatever. It's having. Conventional fiat currencies are subject to inflation. Boo, that's just an extra tax on the peasants like you and me so the government can take more of your money. Yeah, guys, open your eyes. It's, it's not good. Conventional fiat currencies are subject to inflation due to the ability of governments or banks to increase the money supply. Yeah, wow. Unlike these currencies, Bitcoin has a capped total supply of 21 billion BTC. What is that? 21 million. 21. I, I can't add. Uh, meaning no additional coins can be created beyond this limit. This finite supply alongside potential changes in demand as more people adopt Bitcoin positions it similarly to gold. Uh, yeah, yeah, gold is a resource with a limited supply that cannot be artificially increased. Do we know that? We get one meteor or asteroid goes nearby and you go up and mine that thing and it's made of gold, it's over. <laughs> you know, you ever wonder about that? If there's a big mine somewhere or a big rock underneath the earth they can't get to you, it's just pure gold and it's over and it's not so precious anymore. Who knows? Nobody knows. But right now, gold is what it is. It's a scarce resource or it cannot be artificially increased. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You guys can read the rest. It's on the nice hash page. So where are we at right now? You need to get ready, guys. Not financial advice. What would you do if you knew the having was coming up in 10 days? And, oh, how do I move this? Hold on, big daddies. I'm going to roll this puppy over for your uh, enjoyment. Look at that. TradingView desktop app. The, one of the best freaking trading desktop apps out, apps out there. Coinbase Advanced is nice. For doing Bitcoin, this you can do watch list and everything, get projections, uh, get do all kinds of crap on it. You just got to read the manual RTFM. Most people don't know how to do that anymore because they are products of the public school system. You got to do your own research and your own reading on how to use these tools. I'm not going to show you every step, but it is a useful tool making watch list. You can go in 
and you can look at the uh, technicals as well the analog uh, analyst what's a word is that a word it's a new word anyway the analyst projections and price targets and stuff like that uh those people are idiots too so do not believe what they post they have an agenda hopefully to make you buy so you're left holding the bag when they dump you got to watch that man you ever notice the articles out there on uh zero hedge and all these damn sites uh they're saying oh my gosh I think it's a great time to uh, sell your Tesla. It's tanking. And then boom, once you dump it, freaking Tesla goes to the moon or invert on any other thing. Buy, buy NVIDIA. And then right when you buy NVIDIA, boom, you're left holding the bag because they all dumped the night before. It's, uh, it's there to basically persuade you, influence you to do their bidding. So you got to be careful, guys. Don't believe everything you read. Don't believe YouTube channels. Just you got to know your own data. You got to know what's going on out there. Uh, you can always lose all your money. Most people do. It's not a good feeling. Oh, we're down now at 71,530. The little bugger here, the little, the little Bitcoiner guys, it was holding at 69.6. And all of a sudden, let's kick off in the wee hours of Monday morning. Uh, that had to be overseas, right? Yeah, that was overseas. Somebody overseas kicked this puppy off in Europe. And then it started to go up. Boom, 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 boom. Up to... Oh, we have a candle. Ricky Candles of Bitcoin Ben fame. Ricky Candles. What the heck's up with that? I don't know. Uh, let's see. 72.7 was the high. Pretty interesting crapo. Oh, let's see. Now we got over here. You got the latest news over here. You can look at Coindesk Bitcoin price index gained 3.7.5%. Data talk. Some of the new stuff, you click on this little lightning bolt. It's kind of useful in a way to get a kind of a barometer. <clears throat> a barometer of what is going on bitcoin bullish engulfing four hour candle baby yeah my advice is when you're looking at these trading charts like this go to the four hour you just click up here and you don't click like that you click up here it's not working oh where did they change it there it is four hours big daddy that's how you can, you can do any granularity that makes you happy four hours gives you a nice warm fuzzy and it's not j jumping all over the place so we're dropping a little bit. I want this little guy to come back down. I want to come back down because I want to buy more. I'm not buying at this level. Uh, it may go higher, but that's the guess. It's a guess, guys. Nobody knows. And over here, they have these uh, things, um, new stuff, people put in the chat. And I've made a comment that nobody knows what this is going to do. By reading all these comments in these chat, it just proves nobody has a clue. It could go up. It could go down. It could go sideways. It can do nothing at all. And that is all you need to post. You don't need to post, oh, it's going to go to the moon, bye. You know, come on. You don't know crap, dude. And if you knew that crap, you would not be on a trading view chat room posting it. Come on. Give me a break. It's like those guys who are, say they got rich off uh, Bitcoin. Now, why are you still on YouTube, man? If I, if I made real bank on uh, doing this crap, I would not be around. I'd be like, later. <laughs> later, I'm going to go enjoy my freedom away from anything technical, any computer, and just sit and relax in the mountains somewhere, right? That's exactly right. You want to be on YouTube shilling anything. Uh, yeah, I do this for fun, to kill time, and just to kind of be a little pragmatist about Just be careful out there. But I don't know. I like Bitcoin. It's fun. It's what I know. Uh, you can always lose everything. That's exciting. That'll put some excitement in your day if you lose it all. <laughs> and also, uh, if you make a lot too, most people don't know when to sell. It's funny. It could go up. It could double tomorrow. People will not sell because they think it's going to keep going up. And then it crashes. There's a flash crash back down to 20,000 or something. And they are massively in the red, right? And then they're crying in their pillow. And it's like people just do not know when to take profits. And that's something you have to look at and research on Investopedia and stuff. What is the philosophy, the psychology of taking profits? You can take out your core investment if you're up and leave the money you made. And let that ride. That way you got your core investment back in your bank, you know, back in fiat do dollars, where Michael Seller says those that have um, their money in fiat are poor. <laughs> I thought that was a nice comment. Uh, it may be true, actually. All right. So that's all we got right now. I'm still mining. I broke a point something. I don't know. Where's this thing at? Hold on, big daddies. Oh, big daddy. Let's see. Uh, mining sucks right now. CP mining is not the greatest. And I'm at 0 0.0041769. I might, I'm just might let it go. I don't know. At this price, four bucks, it's really, the juice is not kind of 
It's not worth a squeeze of, I don't know, it's on the fence of turn these things off. Um, but again, the goal here is just keep stacking these little Bitcoins. It's pennies. It's pennies on the penny, uh, but it's still something, right? And again, I'm going to put this pro tip out there once again. If you are buying Bitcoin, remember, if you're buying on an ETF or one of the um, brokerages, you do not own that Bitcoin. If you're buying on Robinhood, you don't own that Bitcoin. They have the keys, not your keys, not your coins. You can't go to Robinhood and buy Bitcoin and transfer it to your wallet. Uh, you can't. And then they charge. They say no fees, but there's like another fee once they buy it. So it's not the greatest thing. I'd stay away from Robinhood. Remember what they did, the games, uh, GameStop and um, the other thing, oh, the movie, the AMC, and how then they stopped trading. The big boys got involved and said, oh, we can't let the peasants win at our game. So I do not like Robinhood. They're in, they're in on it. They're part of the uh, problem. So remember that when you're trying to buy Bitcoin, if you want Bitcoin itself, you know, Coinbase, Kraken, uh, Gemini, all that crap, you can buy it on. Uh, you got to watch the fees, the purchase fees, the transaction fees. Secret here. Here's a pro tip. If you, you know, people want to listen to these channels, I always bury in little pro tips that may save you lots of money. If you go to Coinbase, you have an account. Say you have 100 bucks, fiat, US dollar. Do you want to buy Bitcoin? You click buy on the main basic, basic Coinbase screen. It's going to come up and say, okay, you want to buy 100 Bitcoin at uh, 70,000. All right. Your fees are $3.99 to buy it. That's, that's a lot of money. You know, three to four bucks. That's a, that's, a, that's a ton of money they're making off you just to buy Bitcoin. Then you got to transfer the thing off and put it in your wallet for safekeeping because you can't trust the exchanges. People hack them all the time and they steal your Bitcoin. Then you are left crying in your pillow again. Um, what you have to do, pro tip time, go on the main page of Coinbase on your account. You have to have an account, know your customer, all that crap is set up so you can buy and transfer the stuff around. I have a couple dollars of US fiat in there uh, for my case, right? And on the bottom left, there is a toggle button. You just flip that puppy over to advanced mode. It's a little slow, a little clunky. It eventually loads and it looks like uh, that trading view app. I'm not going to show you my Coinbase crap. You guys can figure it out. It's not that hard. It looks like this with the open orders, the order book and all that crap. You can go in, you'll see your money. You have a hundred bucks for purchasing. You can then set your price on Bitcoin. If you don't want to buy at 71,500, you can say, listen, I'll set a limit price at 69,000. Set it and forget it. You may be surprised in the middle of the night, a candle drops down here, boom, and you get your order buy order gets executed and you got some Bitcoin at a nice price and a thing shoots back up or you may catch a falling knife and it keeps falling. So that's the thing with a limit order, right? Or you can do a market order and just buy it as is at that spot price. The beauty of doing the advanced mode is what? What crypto gem uh, is the transaction fees are nominal. You go from $3.99 off their main basic page for the, uh, for the uh, sheeples to the advanced page, which used to be GDAX, Coinbase Pro, it's advanced, I don't know what they call it now. Don't pay for the subscription, you don't need that. You just gotta go in there, use the advanced page to buy on the right, and then your fee is gonna be 88 cents. That's what mine was, I bought 100 bucks of Bitcoin just to see and compare it to Kraken. Kraken was still about uh, 299, still about a little bit less than Coinbase. Coinbase has the most, Highest fees for purchasing. If you go to the basic non advanced page, Kraken's right there. But if you go to the advanced mode on Coinbase, you get like an 88 cent fee on purchasing 100 bucks a, um, a Bitcoin. It's a win. Pro tip don't tell everybody that's just for you. And if, if, they, if by saving you money, please subscribe to the channel and please join as a member as a thank you to Crypto Jim for giving you a pro tip. You know, no one appreciates people giving out good advice anymore. It's like, oh, I expect everything for free. Well, there you go. I just saved you quite a bit of money if you're going to do some purchasing on uh, Bitcoin. I don't buy altcoins anymore, man. I went through it. I was tempted. I saw Dogecoin going up to 21 cents. Well, now Dogecoin's back down. So do not chase after these stupid coins, these altcoins. I was a Litecoin fan for a while. That thing's a big turd. Do not believe it. Just God, go with the king. If you want to get involved with this crap, go with the king. Because uh, Bitcoin is affected by the inflows, the outflows of these, uh, of these uh, Bitcoin ETFs by BlackRock, Vanguard, Fidelity, even Grayscale. Grayscale sucks big time because they are greedy with their fees. They were foolish. They got really greedy. So there was a huge 
outflow of money from the Grayscale ETF. Good on them because the customers said, you guys are charging us way too much, you greedy little piggies. So uh, what Fidelity I know is doing is a zero transaction fees waived until August. So everything you do in their ETF, if you don't want to buy Bitcoin outright and hold it in your wallet and possibly lose it or have someone steal it from you, you can do it through the ETF and um, no transaction fees. I'm not sure about Vanguard and what's that other one? The big evil empire, BlackRock. And the other beauty, oh my God, I'm giving you a second pro tip. I've got to stop this and make sure people pay for my great advice. But that's just who I am. And uh, uh, hopefully you guys see the value in this. Uh, what you can also do with an ETF, you can't really, I, can't, I haven't found a way, there probably is a way, but where I'm set up on some of these uh, brokerage houses with an ETF, Bitcoin ETF, you can purchase it through your IRA or Roth IRA. The beauty there is no taxes on the transactions. For the IRA, you will um, pay required minimal distributions. If you are lucky enough and healthy enough and want to live to uh, 72 or 75, that's when I think RMDs kick in. So that's the thing of the IRA is you're building for your future. You're not going to be able to uh, you know, cash out and go spend it on some useless thing like a car. And if you do, you'll pay a 10% penalty. It'll hurt massively. So Roth IRA for the win. If you have a Roth IRA, if you don't, you better get one. I don't care how old you are. Get your damn Roth IRA set up uh, for tax advantages and maybe do some IRA Roth conversions and start trading in there for tax-free growth and uh, ETF too, man. If you think Bitcoin's going to go up, buy some of that ETF crap and let it sit, set and forget. But don't ignore it you got to watch the market if something's switching and you think it's going to tank you might want to keep your profits or lock in your profits because if you are getting older and you have a roth and you need that money eventually you're, you don't have much runway left on this planet to try to re uh, accumulate that profit so you got to be smart too don't be a fool and in my advice too, don't trust financial advisors cfps cfrps wealth advisors their goal their goal is to take your money, they see you as a nice little shiny goldy piggy, and they wanna make as much money off your money uh, via selling you crap, insurance, annuities, uh, vols, VULs, life, all that crap you do not need. I spent so much money, I'm so angry that I fell for it. They're, they're the worst scammers. And uh, you don't need it, they'll charge fees, expenses, and everything. You do not need those people, you do not need them. If you really wanna just do the long game, index fund, dollar cost average in every month, set and forget, and you're good to go. That's that's my that's what I did, not financial advice. If you listen to me, you're a fool. Uh, but that's look into it. That's the way to go, buddy. If you follow these financial people, they and then some charge a um yearly fee in addition to all this crap. Like I had to pay this dude uh a few thousand bucks each year for his crappy advice to take more of my money. I was such a fool. I'm just passing it on to you guys, man. And if you're younger or you're uh, thinking about getting married, I would not get married. That's just another financial advice. It's not knocking anything other than that. If you're a man who gets married today in the West, especially America, you're a fool because the uh, judiciary family law system is geared against you. You will lose every time. And w uh, women, she's not yours. It's just your turn. She will find someone bigger and better, dump your butt, and just ruin you. There's a couple of videos out there today about that. You got to watch it, man. Do not move in with a woman. Do not marry her. Uh, you're asking for a world of hurt, man. You, I'm sorry. You may say, oh, you're just negative. I don't know. Seen it. Seen guys get destroyed. Women do not care. They get, they, uh, it's just bad out there. It's so bad in the West. It's over. Uh Man, I don't know. Make your money with Bitcoin and go overseas and live. Go to Panama or somewhere. Colombia, Argentina. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much, how much of a, I don't know how long this country can keep lasting based on what's going on in the past three to four years. It's not good. But you got to be smart with your money. Marriage is another reason you can lose all your wealth. You got to be smart. Men, I'm talking about men because it's geared against you in the family law system. Uh, women, get out of jail easy. They don't get in jail. They get, they, they, they don't get paid for any accountability of the crimes they do against men, uh, in marriage relationships, stuff like that. Believe all women crap. And, um, yeah, they can just make up anything false, false accusations and you're going to pay. So again, that's a financial advice. 
and a statement on society. So go forth through great things with that. I gave you a lot of wisdom, mainly with the Coinbase crap and the purchasing through a Roth. And young guys, do not get married. Do yourself a favor. Make me proud. Don't do it. Do not do it. All right, I'm out.